Picture this, it's a cozy evening, the flickering glow of the TV screen casting a warm ambience in the room. You settle into your favorite armchair, popcorn in hand, anticipation building as the opening credits of a timeless classic start rolling. The year is 1954, and on the screen unfolds a story that would leave an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. A star is born. As the film's melodious tunes and captivating performances transported you to a world of fame and heartache, you couldn't help but reminisce about your very first encounter with this cinematic gem. Perhaps it was the hauntingly beautiful voice of Judy Garland or the charismatic charm of James Mason that first captured your heart. Maybe it was the poignant storyline that tugged at your emotions, making you laugh, cry, and ponder life's complexities all at once. In those precious moments, you found yourself lost in the magic of Hollywood's golden era, where dreams were woven into every frame, and passion burned brighter than the studio lights. It was a film that left an indelible mark on your soul, a memory etched in the tapestry of your life. Now, as we step behind the scenes, let's delve into some fascinating random facts about this cinematic masterpiece. Get ready to uncover the hidden stories, the untold secrets, and the intriguing trivia that make a star is born a true masterpiece. So, grab your virtual director's chair and join me as we embark on this cinematic journey through time. It's a star-studded adventure you won't want to miss, and it's all here, exclusively for you. A Star is Born, a classic film released in 1954, tells the story of Esther Blodgett, a talented young singer who rises to stardom under the mentorship of Norman Maine, a fading Hollywood actor battling alcoholism. The film is a remake of earlier versions, but this one is notable for its iconic portrayal of Esther by Judy Garland and Norman by James Mason. Their powerful performances and on-screen chemistry captivate the audience as they navigate the highs and lows of fame and personal struggles. The film's unique style lies in its exploration of the entertainment industry's harsh realities, including the toll it takes on individuals' lives. With its emotional depth, memorable songs like The Man That Got Away, and striking cinematography, A Star Is Born has left an indelible mark on cinema history. It's not just a story about love and ambition, but also a reflection of the price of fame. A Star is Born has had a lasting impact on popular culture, inspiring subsequent adaptations and cementing its status as a classic Hollywood tale. The film's exploration of the entertainment world's darker aspects continues to resonate with audiences, making it a timeless masterpiece that showcases the complexities of stardom and human relationships. The Restored A Star Is Born premiere at Radio City Music Hall in 1954. The movie A Star Is Born made its mark in Hollywood history. But it wasn't until 1983 that a restored version of the film had its world premiere at the iconic Radio City Music Hall in New York. The audience at Radio City Music Hall witnessed something special that evening. As the lost musical numbers from the original film appeared on the big screen, the crowd erupted into applause. It wasn't just polite clapping, it was the kind of enthusiastic response that signifies genuine appreciation. By the time the credits rolled, the audience was on its feet, giving the film a standing ovation. It was a fitting tribute to a classic movie that had been meticulously restored to its former glory. Adding to the emotional weight of the moment, both of Judy Garland's daughters, Lisa Minnelli and Lorna Luft, were in the audience that night. Their presence added a poignant connection to their mother's legacy as Judy Garland had played a pivotal role in the film. After the screening, Lisa Minnelli and Lorna Luft had to be taken to a dressing room, where it took them a full 20 minutes to stop crying. The impact of the film and its restoration clearly struck a deep chord with them and the entire audience. It's worth noting that the restoration of A Star Is Born was a labor of love, bringing back the film's lost musical numbers and ensuring its continued appreciation by audiences for generations to come. In a twist of fate, Frank Sinatra was considered for the role of Norman Maine in the film. However, at the time, he was considered box office poison, and his casting didn't happen. Only Judy Garland and her husband were keen on having him in the film, but it remained unrealized. In conclusion, the world premiere of The Restored A Star Is Born at Radio City Music Hall in 1983 was a memorable event, marked by a standing ovation and the emotional reactions of Judy Garland's daughters, Lisa Minnelli and Lorna Luft. It showcased the enduring power of this classic Hollywood film and the importance of preserving cinematic history. 
1954, the movie A Star Is Born had its share of interesting moments. One of the highlights was the film's previews. The first preview turned out to be a big success for Judy Garland. As she left the screening, fans showered her with praise, shouting, don't cut a single minute of it. The second preview, held on August 3rd, was equally triumphant. At that point, the film ran for a lengthy 196 minutes, a testament to its captivating story. Another intriguing aspect of the film's history is the casting of the role of Norman Maine, a husband actor. Surprisingly, many notable actors initially turned down the part, including Humphrey Bogart, Marlon Brando, Montgomery Clift, Gary Cooper, Henry Fonda, Errol Flynn, Cary Grant, Ray Milland, Gregory Peck, Tyrone Power, Frank Sinatra, James Stewart, and Robert Taylor. Eventually, James Mason accepted the role, bringing his own unique touch to the character. Judy Garland even suggested her former co-star from The Harvey Girls, John Hodiak, but he was unavailable at the time. Additionally, there's a fun detail about the film's logo. The shield and initials logo on the front of the orchestra's touring bus playfully spoofs Warner Bros. Own classic WB Shield logo, adding a touch of humor to the production. In conclusion, the 1954 movie A Star Is Born had its share of memorable moments, from successful previews to a casting journey for the character of Norman Maine, and even a playful logo nod to Warner Bros. It remains a classic in Hollywood history. In 1954, the movie A Star Is Born faced a turbulent production. Judy Garland, the lead actress, began shooting well but soon encountered challenges. She called in sick multiple times, causing delays. She missed days due to illness, fatigue, and costume concerns. By February, they were 41 days behind schedule. In late March, Garland took a two-week break to get off prescription medications, prolonging the production to nine months. This period also saw Norman Maine, the character played by James Mason, filming an unnamed sea epic. Interestingly, the same year, James Mason starred in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. In total, filming A Star Is Born took a whopping 10 months to complete. Despite the setbacks, the movie eventually made its mark in cinematic history. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the timeless classic that is A Star Is Born, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound connection you may have formed with this cinematic masterpiece. In this poignant tale of love, ambition, and the highs and lows of fame, perhaps you've found yourself resonating with the characters, their dreams, their struggles, or the melodious soundtrack that has the power to stir the soul. It's a film that has touched hearts across generations, and I'm certain you've discovered your own personal moments of resonance within its frames. Now, it's your turn to shine. Share your cherished memories, your deepest emotions, or your favorite scenes from A Star Is Born. Did Judy Garland's captivating performance move you to tears? Or was it James Mason's portrayal of the tormented Norman Maine that left an indelible mark on your soul? Perhaps it was the enchanting music that continues to play in the soundtrack of your life. Let your voice be heard and join the chorus of fans who have celebrated this cinematic gem. Your thoughts, your memories, and your reflections are the stars that continue to make a star is born shine bright. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic journey with me. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Until next time, keep the magic of the silver screen alive in your heart. Warmly.